What I have here is a fairly decent looking digital A camcorder. That's got a little bit of a problem that we are going to attempt to fix in this video. And along the way, I will show you how to fix yours if you happen to have the same problem. However, I cannot guarantee that it will work on all of these camcorders with this problem. I don't even know if it'll work for this one. I've got another one in my possession that exhibits the same error code, but does not have this problem, or at least does not seem to have this problem. I'll have to investigate it a little further. But here's the symptom. I've got a battery on here. I'm going to go ahead and I'll open up the uh, view screen so you can see this a little better. But uh, I can open up the view screen. Come on, there we go. Open up the view screen. I will turn the camera on. I think that's VCR mode. Yes. And then we'll eject the tape mechanism. We'll find our tape. And we will insert it. As you can see, we have a C3123, and it's telling us to eject the tape. And there is a good reason for that. Why might it be doing that? Take a quick look at that mechanism right there. I think you may have figured it out already, but just in case you haven't, this is what the mechanism in a good camcorder looks like. The thing to pay attention to is this right here. See this little black thing? This little white piece there? Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. But there is no rubber roller there, and there is no white thing. The thing that causes this problem, at least in 90% of the cases, every time I've seen it, this has been the issue, except for one time, um, there's a little white piece called the white lock pin, and this cracks or breaks in some other way and falls out, and then the roller falls out or gets loose, and thus you get an alignment issue because that's the pinch roller, so it's not able to supply enough pressure, the tape can move, and the camcorder freaks out and assumes the worst. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this camera off and remove the battery, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this little side piece so I can at least more easily access that little thing right there because I've got a roller and a white lock pin off of another broken camcorder. If you happen to lose your white lock pin or if yours is broken, it look like that, you'll have to get yourself an ink pen and cut off a portion of it that's roughly about the same size as that. So I'm going to take this off and then I'll come back. Okay, as you can see, I removed the uh, little side panel here. I also put the camera on its side and removed this really disgusting looking hand strap out of the way. And I've also put the new roller in place where it needs to go. So now I just need to put the locking pin in place. And that might be a little difficult because it is a very snug fit. All right, that's in place with very careful use of pliers. You have to be very careful not to squish it or otherwise, you know, don't put too much force on it, anything like that. So now what we should be able to do, I'm going to flip the camera back right side up, reinsert the battery, get the hand strap out of the way so I can reinsert the battery, reopen up the display, so I'm going to turn the camera back on, should work. Get that out of the way. And we'll grab our tape. And again, you got to be careful with this because now that it doesn't have its protective plastic, it's very easy to bend this. Just very gently close it. And knowing my luck, it won't work. But it looks like we have, at least for now, fixed the issue. This one might have other problems. Hello? 
go ahead and switch but it looks like it's good here. so we are now good to go and well, not so much demonstration but I will show you this camera that I am using to record right now so I'll be right back thanks to the magic of video editing since I am not going to be putting analog video on this tape All right, so it looks like I, we have successfully managed to fix this camcorder. So, like I said, 90% of the cases are that. I have one that I will have to investigate that does not seem to be this problem, even though it's the same error code, C3123. So, hope you uh, enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful. If you've got any comments or further questions, do feel free to leave them down below. Now, if I could turn the camera off, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, I can't help you with your wrist strap if it's in as bad a condition as this one's in. This is, like, hopeless. There's no way that that can be fixed by anybody. So, I don't even know if I'm going to put it back on. I may just cut it right off. Just because it's... This is probably the worst-looking hand strap I've ever seen. But that's not privy to this video. Eventually, yes, there will be a demo video of this camcorder. And, uh, well, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.